Hello, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a certified yoga instructor and I specialize in yoga for chronic pain and chronic illness. Today's video is a part of our seven day breathwork challenge. And today we're doing an exercise called Kapalabhati, which means breath of fire. So this is a very energizing, warming breath for the body. It stimulates the digestive system. And I would recommend doing it first thing in the morning when you wake up on an empty stomach so you haven't eaten anything, preferably haven't drank anything, but if you had some water, that's okay. Um, so this one you wanna do in an upright position. You can try it lying down, see how it feels to do lying down. I personally don't think it feels very good. Um, so I'd recommend doing it in a seated upright position. You can do this seated on the floor with the ankles crossed. You could do it seated in the chair with your feet flat on the floor. Or my favorite position for this one, because it, it just makes me feel more stable while I'm doing it, is to just sit on my heels. And if sitting on your heels isn't comfortable for you, you can take a yoga block lengthways underneath your rear end. So whichever position you choose, you wanna make sure that the shoulders are stacked right over your hips, so you're in proper posture, shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, and the crown of the head lines up right over the tailbone. There is quite a bit going on with this breath. So we've got our we've got our seating position. Now I'm going to show you the hand position for this breathing exercise. There are a couple different ways you can do it. Um, first option is to have the arms up extended overhead with the thumbs out, fingers curled into the palms, and they're extended up in a V shape overhead. This is very challenging. <laughs> um, that's kind of the point though. With these breathing exercises, we are challenging our body's ability to maintain equilibrium. So ultimately we're, we're, we're stretching our body's ability to do that. So even under these circumstances where we're really challenging our bodies, the body is getting stronger and more capable of maintaining that equilibrium. So that's option one, to extend the arms overhead. If that feels painful or it's just way too much, um, other option is to bring the hands in front of you, palms can touch, fingers point away from you, and then you're gonna cross the thumbs one on top of the other. Traditionally, they say women should cross the left thumb over the right, men should cross the right thumb over the left. Up to you, <laughs> whichever one feels better. And then you're gonna interlace the last three fingers. Index fingers stay pointed out. This is option two, to just have this right in front of the solar plexus. And then option three would just be to have the palms touching. Option four, just rest the hands in your lap <laughs> and just do the breath, breath exercise without the hand position. So lots of options to play with here. And then for, for the actual breath, you're gonna be breathing in and out through your nose. And you're going to be using the abdominal muscles to propel the breath. So it's gonna look something like this. The exhale is, is where all of the force is, and then the inhale is passive. It's just naturally happening on its own. So your main focus is on the exhale for this breath. So it's gonna look like this. You can speed up the pace of this breath if you'd like, you can slow it down, but the belly button is really snapping back toward the spine on the exhale. You're really squeezing the internal organs on that exhale. And what am I forgetting? At the end, 
whenever we whenever we finish the breath, we're going to retain the breath at the very, very end of the exercise. I'll tell you to inhale, and then you're gonna hold the breath at the top of that inhale and engage Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha. So Mula Bandha is at your pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is gonna lift in and up, kind of like you're doing a Kegel exercise. And so that's gonna lift in and up, and then the belly button pulls back in and up for Uddiyana Bandha. But that's at the very end. I'll tell you again whenever we get to that point, but I just wanted you to be prepared and know what's, what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna start now. Choose whichever hand position feels the most comfortable for you. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, and out. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to start breath of fire. If you want, you can close the eyes here and keep up with that breath at your own pace. Remember, you can speed up the rate of breath or slow it down, whichever you need to do to make it more comfortable. Exhale is active, inhale is passive. challenging breath if you feel like you need to take a break midway through that's okay just resume whenever you comfortably can about 30 more seconds Inhale, hold the breath at the top, engage Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, pull everything in and up. Exhale, all that breath out. Relax the hands into your lap. Keep the eyes closed if they were closed. And just take a moment to Notice your energy, notice how you feel after doing that breath work. Bring the hands together at heart center. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Take a deep breath in. Let that breath out. Inhale. 
exhale, open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed this class, be sure to give it a thumbs up so it can reach more people. And don't forget that you can get a full length yoga class that incorporates this breath work into the practice inside my membership program called Spoonie Yoga Studio. It's the only online yoga membership that is 100% for people living with chronic pain and chronic illness. And I really would love to see you inside there. I'd love to get to know you better and connect with you and uh, just be more a part of your yoga journey. So let me know in the comments how this breath work went for you today and I will chat with you again very soon. Namaste.